Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Rouse Indigo and I make videos about secular spirituality, writing and journaling prompts, bullet journal videos, little tidbits about the moon and how to move through the lunar phases with your goal setting, mental health and awareness, and my story. So I talk a lot about secular spirituality and you're probably wondering, what is that? Is that kind of like an oxymoron? Can you be spiritual and not religious? Uh, what is it? So today we're talking about what secular spirituality spirituality is to me. I ran across a definition of secular spirituality recently that really, really resonated with me. It basically spoke to like the core of who I am, my lifestyle, my morals, my belief, how I strive to live, and then also how I look at my spiritual practices. I do not adhere to any religion. I am a spiritual person, but I am not religious. I definitely love spirituality topics, mindfulness, meditation, yoga, conscious living, all kinds of really great things that are good for your body, your soul, and your environment and the earth. And that is how I strive to live. And now I'd like to share with you the secular spirituality definition that really, really resonated with me. Secular spirituality is the adherence to a spiritual philosophy without adherence to a religion. Secular spirituality embraces the personal growth and inner peace of the individual rather than a relationship with the divine. Secular spirituality is made up of the search for meaning outside of a religious institution. It considers one relationship with the self, others, nature, and whatever else one considers to be the ultimate. Often, the goal of secular spirituality is living happily and or helping others. This is exactly how I strive to live and what I talk about on this channel. I really resonated with this definition and it just felt perfect. It felt right to me and it just sat so well with my soul. Like it was a puzzle piece that just nestled its way in and was like, yes, this is your purpose. This is your core. This is part of you. And I wanted to share that with you today. And I really hope that you find your own definition of spirituality, whether that's in a religious context or a secular context. I think that there's a lot that we can learn from all the religions in the world and then also the other groups in the world that are not religious. There are kernels of goodness in each and every one of them. And I think that they can all play a part in how we connect back into ourselves and back out to others and how we take care of ourselves and the environment. And for me, spirituality is all about connection, so this was perfect. I'd love to know what your definition of spirituality is in the comments down below. Are you spiritual but not religious? Or are you religious and a very spiritual person? I'd love to know in the comments down below. You can find me on Instagram at alzanindigo, that's where I am most, or over on my website at alzanindigo.com, where I share weekly spirituality tips, writing and journaling prompts, little tidbits about the moon and how to move through the lunar cycle with your goal setting, mental health and awareness, and my story. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.